Happy Monday, all my stock market investors. It is Shadai, and I'm back again with another Cash App investing video. Today, I want to talk about some of the results from the Fed's stress test on the banking system. But before we get there, make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you haven't, because it definitely puts a smile on my face. And before we get into everything, I do want to say that I didn't mean to scare anybody with my predictions on Friday. But let me know in the comments, like, do you agree? I'm starting to see a lot more. I started to look and see what other people were talking about. And there's a lot more talks about this crash happening. But I don't want you to be scared. I don't want this to make you uh, just run off and never come back. So this stress test that the feds did was pretty much to see if the banks could handle uh, some type of economic recession. And the results seemed to come out pretty good. Uh, well, for the big banks. I mean, the small banks, you know, who knows? I guess they don't really care for the small banks. And I think that the federal government would rather just work with a few major big banks. I don't really think they like options. It doesn't seem it. But they were saying that the stress test, um, in the stress test, the Fed is, is not going to let banks, going forward, banks uh, buy back stocks. They're making some banks cut dividends or not pay out dividends or only able to pay out dividends if they make a certain amount of money. But let's read some good news from this article that says, where are we at? Okay. The banking system remains well capitalized under even the harshest of these downside scenarios, which are very harsh indeed. He also said that the banks will be required to resubmit and update their capital plans later this year to reflect current stresses. So, when I did my reading, they did a test on like a V-shaped, what it would look like if a V-shaped, what it would look like for a W-shaped, which I think that's where we're heading. W-shaped is, you know, there was a sell-off. It happened in March. We climbed back up thinking everything was all right, and then everybody's going to sell off again, and then we'll climb back up. So that's what I think is going to happen. I'm not, uh, I'm not saying that is what's going to happen. That's just what I think. And if it does happen, I'm going to say it again. I've said it before in the past. I will be using it as a buying opportunity. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. On March 23rd, when everything hit the bottom, I did not capitalize. And I will not miss out on this opportunity, this next drop, this next crash, this next sell-off. And I don't even think it's going to be as bad as the as the first one. It might be 5%, 10%, couple percentage. It might just be a couple of percentages over the next few weeks. You know, 2% today, 3% tomorrow, 5% the next day. Just keep slowly going down. There's plenty of scenarios, but uh, Wells Fargo, which I spoke about recently, they may be at risk for cutting their dividends to their investors. And I'm kind of taking a step back. You know, I was kind of into the bank stocks, but I'm taking a step back from the bank stocks. And I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna just look for other stocks that are paying dividends. And this week I got paid dividends in Qualcomm. I got paid dividends in Norton LifeLock. Uh, which Norton LifeLock is on discount right now, y'all. So go go check it out. If you get a chance, do your research on them. See if they're worth investing your money into. Um, I'm kind of heavy on the dividend stocks right now. I'm, I'm searching for those because I want to get some money back for having my money sitting around in these accounts. I want to get some money back and, hey, ain't nothing better than catching a little dividend payment for your money sitting around and, it's always good, but I reinvest. I reinvest my dividends into more. Uh, I bought more Outfront Media this week. I bought more uh, Canopy Growth this week. And I am looking to get into this mega tech cap little room. And that's with Apple, Amazon, Tesla, and Microsoft, I believe. There's a few others. But I really want to get into either Apple or Google. I'm not really a fan of Amazon, but I do want to get or oh, Apple, Google, or Tesla. Let me know in the comments which one out of those three would you rather invest in. I'm having a tough time. The price is gonna come down, and I and I gotta get in. So let me know what the best price y'all think of getting in either Apple, Google, or Tesla. Those are prime. Those are that's like prime real estate if if you were to think of stocks as real estate. But that's I didn't mean to confuse y'all. I hope y'all have a, re a great rest of y'all week. I will see y'all tomorrow. Make sure you let me know in the comments what y'all think 
about the, the stress test. What do y'all think about the stocks going forward? Are you thinking long-term? Are you being scared? Please let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments.